차를 만드는 회사라고요? 아니요. 테슬라는 기계를 만드는 그 기계를 만드는 회사입니다. 오늘의 주인공은 테슬라 차량 엔지니어링 총책임자 라스 모라비. 그런데 차량만 만드는 줄 알았는데요. 알고 보니 로봇의 관절도 설계하고 기계공학으로 외과 수술하듯 옵티머스의 손가락 움직임까지 고민하는 로봇 외과 의사였던 겁니다. 그리고 여기서 중요한 하나. 테슬라가 진짜 잘하는 건 차를 잘 만드는 게 아니라 차를 만드는 기계를 직접 만들어서 남들보다 수개월 빠르게 움직이는 것. 이게 바로 기계를 만드는 기계 전략이고 그 중심엔 라스 모라비와 그의 6천명 슈퍼팀이 있습니다. 라스 모라비 인터뷰 옵티머스 2편 시작합니다. One thing I know you like to talk about is the machine that builds the machine. Yeah. Right? It's something that most people don't understand. So fun. Yeah. So let's talk about it. What, what is it about it that allows Tesla to build much of this machinery in-house that builds your machines? Right? What's the advantage of that? And how does it help you move faster or innovate faster? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we just talked about with working with Franz and not being able to say no. Well, one of the superpowers we have at Tesla is like our automation groups and our manufacturing engineering departments. You know, they're just a, like, I think about the 6,000 people that work for me, about 2,000 of them are in automation and, and you know, machine building. You know, about, you know, 1,800 are in manufacturing engineering and about 1,800 are in design engineering. And then you got, you know, support and technic technicians and, and things like that. So it's like really a third, a third, a third. Um, And when I, when I think about that, it's like, why, why is that so important? Well, when you invent something new and no one's ever made it before, it's much easier to have the team that's going to build the machine on your team so you don't have to work through these layers of, you know, like even stupid things like I need a quote from a vendor to supply the machine. And like that takes two weeks. And then they, they got to check with their suppliers. And that takes another two weeks. And you end up with this stack of like timelines that like really two thirds of it is just back and forth between different companies and different levels and you know in the end you're translating that same goal of whatever it is you're trying to make through that same bureaucracy of of, of you know tiers of, of 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 companies and so at tesla it's like hey i want to make this thing i don't know how to and you're like okay let me call the guy who or the girl who is like most closely made a machine that's built this before you call them into the room and they come in the room and they're like hmm Well, I could do it making, you know, like the panels on, well, not that one, but on the cyber cabs, you know, when we were doing that idea of like, how do we make these panels that are, are paint, look like paint, but aren't paint and like are super easy to replace and, and durable. And so we brought like, you know, the design engineer and we had Franz's color team in there. And then we had the plastics team in there that builds the plastics machines. And they were like, you know what though, we need to change the materials. So we brought the materials teams in and mirrors here somewhere. He's a big part of that. Um, And like, you, you can't do that in many companies. It just doesn't exist to the level of expertise we have. And so that might be a two hour meeting and you come out with an actual idea of how to make something real. Um, and then you go do it. And so that speed is just like all throughout that process that just takes away months and months of iteration. And you know, I, I like building Optimus and building this is the same thing. It's like we had to invent new automation equipment with a level of precision that most people don't use, maybe except in like the chip industry. But we're talking about like chips are this small and they don't weigh that much. And we're talking about doing on a you know 65 kilogram humanoid robot. I mean, the same level of precision. So we had to go all the way back to the machine, for, you know, our machine builders in Germany and say, we're going to build a new frame and the precision is going to be like micron level. And it's going to move super fast because we got to build, you know, thousands of these things a week. And then, so then we were like, reinvented the machine so that it has more precision and it moves faster. And like, I don't think those companies you were talking about in China are, are doing that, that are building robots. And that's, that's what, I get super excited about that. I wish more people got excited about it. Like, it's the coolest part of working at Tesla. Tesla has introduced... <웃음> 보통 회사들은 우리가 새로운 부품을 만들고 싶은데 하면 음 그걸 만드는 기계를 만들어줄 회사를 먼저 찾아야겠네요 라고 하죠 그런데 테슬라는 다릅니다 바로 동료를 찾습니다 야너 저번에 사이버트럭 패널 만들 때그 기계 만들었지? 우리 이번엔 로봇 팔 만들 거야 그리고 디자인팀, 소재팀, 자동화팀, 플라스틱팀이 한 방에 소환되고 단 2시간 만에 회의에서 시제품 생산으로 넘어갑니다 그리고 진짜 만들어냅니다 이게 가능한 이유 테슬라는 OEM이 아니라 AI 로봇 그리고 자동차 부문에 이르기까지 수십 개월화된 엔지니어링 기업이기 때문입니다. 라스는 말합니다. 
우리는 대부분의 산업에서 쓰지 않는 정밀도의 기계를 직접 설계하고 제작합니다. 이게 옵티머스고 테슬라입니다. 요약하자면 테슬라는 바퀴 달린 로봇, 두 발로 걸어다니는 로봇을 만드는 기업입니다. 하지만 진짜 비밀병기는 로봇을 만드는 기계를 만드는 능력입니다. 감사합니다.